If you're looking into solar power options for your house, then you're going to want to take a look at Enphase's new IQ8 microinverter. Because in this video, I'm going to be showing you some unique features and capabilities that make the Enphase IQ8 the most advanced microinverter ever released. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course, here at Solar Surge, we use renewable energy, solar, and battery backup technology to help people to achieve that energy independence. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge, we talk about all things related to solar energy and uh, energy efficiency and emergency backup systems for your home. You'll find product reviews and comparisons, as well as new product launch announcements like today's video here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking an in-depth look at Enphase's new IQ8 microinverter. Now, if you recall our previous video on optimizers versus microinverters, uh, most residential grid-tied solar systems use one of these two technologies to provide what's called module level optimization. What that means is it allows each solar panel in the system to operate independently so that, for example, if shade uh, or if there was physical damage to one of the solar panels, it wouldn't knock down the performance of the rest of the system. So it's called module level optimization. And there's two ways to do that. One way is using microinverters, where you have a small inverter underneath each solar panel converting from DC to AC power right there on the roof. Um, or you can use a DC optimizer system like SolarEdge, where you have an optimizer on each solar panel and then feeding down to a central inverter at ground level that does the DC to AC uh, inversion. Um, in any case, the Enphase microinverter system is probably our most preferred uh, module level optimized system, especially if you're looking for a residential grid tie system uh, with the option of perhaps adding battery backup later. And the new features that are available in the IQ8, most of them really do center around this uh, off-grid mode or backup operation. Now, the IQ8 comes in five different flavors, or five different sizes, you can, you can say, uh, depending on what size solar module that you're going to be connecting with. So you have the basic IQ8, you have the IQ8+, Plus, the IQ8M, the IQ8A, and the IQ8H. Now, each of these model microinverters are optimized to accept a certain voltage input range which typically is going to cor correlate to one of the standard solar panel sizes, whether you're using a 60 cell panel, a 66 cell panel, a 72 cell panel, or in some cases even a 96 cell panel with some of the unique designs. So you want to make sure that you check your spec sheet, match your solar panel to the proper size IQ8 microinverter. Now, as I just said previously, most of the innovation with the IQ8 comes in its backup power modes. And there's actually three different backup power modes that the IQ8 supports. The first is what's called sunlight backup. And this is a brand new capability where essentially the microinverters with the solar panels by themselves can form their own grid and provide secure backup power into your home. In other words, you don't have to have a battery. Uh, and that's important because batteries are expensive. And so if you don't wanna have to spend an extra 10, 15, or $20,000 on top of the cost of your base solar system, using the new IQ8 sunlight backup feature would at least provide some backup power to light loads within your house. Uh, when I'm talking about light loads, I'm talking about you know, things that plug into a standard 120 volt wall outlet, like you know, your laptop charger, your cell phone charger, uh, maybe a small refrigerator, or uh, other portable electronic devices. Uh, it's not gonna run heavy appliances like uh, uh, an air conditioner, for example, but if all you need is a few, you know, a few light items for your portable electronics or whatnot, just something to get by during a temporary blackout, then sunlight backup is probably the most affordable way available to do that. The second backup mode is called home essentials backup, where you would have the Enphase IQ8 microinverters on the roof paired with one of the new Enphase IQ batteries at ground level. Uh, by the way, Enphase has just rebranded their battery product. They're moving away from the N-Charge or the Ensemble package to calling it now the IQ battery solution. And so you still have the same two sizes. The IQ3 is the smaller battery, 
and then the I IQ10 is the larger battery. Those numbers, 3 and 10, correlate to the kilowatt hour storage of each model. So the IQ3 is a 3 kilowatt hour storage, IQ10 has 10 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. Now with the essential loads back up, typically you're gonna have a single IQ10 kilowatt hour battery, as well as the IQ load controller. And this is another innovation that's come available with the IQ8 line, is that the end phase backup system can actually control individual uh, heavy load circuits within your home so that if you do lose grid power and you have to switch to running off solar and battery only, you're not gonna overload the backup system by trying to run everything in the house at the same time. It's gonna be able to shed those loads that are too much for what you know the home essential system can handle. So when you're talking about heavy loads, we're typically talking about things like uh, hot tubs, clothes dryers, uh, electric ovens, uh, electric ranges if you, if you have an electric cooktop. Um, basically, if you look at your circuit breaker panel, anything that's on a 40 amp circuit breaker or higher would be considered a heavy load. So in this case, it would allow you to have a more affordable, essential home backup only without having to, to provide power to everything in the house. And then the third backup mode, of course, is the whole house backup solution, where typically you're gonna have multiple of the end charge, or sorry, the IQ10 battery, um, as well as the load controller. So again, you're not trying to run everything at once where it might overload the system. And then you're also probably gonna to wanna to have a soft start device for your air conditioning circuit. I know a lot of our a lot of our viewers, a lot of the people that reach out to us are looking for backup solutions in southern states like Florida, Texas, and Arizona, where you know having some air conditioning at least re really is a critical need because of how hot and humid it can get. So in those cases, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that we design in a soft start uh, with the system so it'll help absorb some of that, that big startup surge when the compressor motor tries to kick in. Um, or, and I know many of you are already moving this way, or you can take a look at installing a variable speed air conditioning unit. And so with a variable speed unit, it doesn't just turn on full blast where you have that, that huge inrush trying to all rush in at once where it can really overload your battery. But with a variable speed unit, the, the, the controller will gradually throttle up the compressor up and down as needed to heat and cool the home. So you avoid the startup surge completely. I also should mention that Enphase is now allowing a generator integration for all three backup configurations. Whether you're doing sunlight backup only, partial home backup, or whole house backup, you do have the option to integrate a fuel burning generator into the mix. And although we do not have specific requirements on the generator now, we're pretty sure that it has to be a fixed type constant voltage generator that has a very, very low harmonic distortion. Or in other words, it's, it, it's it got to be a generator that puts out constant voltage clean power. Uh, we're not talking about like a, a job site generator that runs off gasoline where you could have those you know voltage fluctuations. Um, this equipment is more sensitive to that sort of dirty power input, so it's going to have to be a, a, uh, a high quality fixed generator that puts out constant voltage. Of course, folks, we're going to be following all the developments with this product and other products in the category. Uh, we know that this is a, a solution that a lot of you are looking for is solar battery backup with a generator option as kind of a third level of redundancy. So as soon as we learn more from the manufacturer, we'll be sure to share that with you here on the channel. And of course, if you'd like to take a look at some options for your home specifically and like to see some pricing, then feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. Um, as always, it'll, it'll take you to our website where you can book a no obligation consultation with one of our system designers and really just look through you know, what options and what, what pricing might look like for an installation on your home. Also, be sure to join us next Thursday, November 11th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We're gonna be doing our first Solar Surge live stream where I'm gonna be interviewing Zane Jan, the CEO and founder of Better Earth Solar, which is one of the fastest growing, if not the fastest growing solar company in the country, doing over $100 million a year in business. So for you solar professionals out there, especially you solar sales professionals and CEOs, if you're interested in learning at how you can grow your business at a more rapid pace, make sure that you tune in for the live stream next Thursday, November 11th at 5 p.m. Eastern, where we're gonna hear directly from Zane about how he built and scaled his business and give you all the opportunity to ask questions and have your questions answered in real time. 
So it's going to be a real treat for the audience next Thursday, November 11th at 5 p.m. Um, also, as always, folks, if you're getting good value from the videos on Solar Surge, please be sure to click on that like button. Uh, and then also click on the subscribe button as well, just so you can stay up to date with us. As I said, we're going to be covering product developments and other product releases that are related to this category. So if solar, battery backup, and generator technologies is something of interest to you, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you'll keep up, up to date with us. Well, thank you again for tuning in to the Solar Surge channel today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.